Hello. Congressman Aspinall on the House floor on one. Wayne. Yes, Mr. President. Secretary Udall is here with me, and we're talking about a rather urgent uh, proposal that uh, uh, we thought we ought to recommend. But before I did, I want to talk to you about it and uh, get you to help us if you could, uh, or give me your approval if you could. Now let him outline to you very briefly what our thought is. And let's uh, help me if you can. Go ahead, Stu. Uh, Wayne, the, the, the problem, and we're really between a, a, a rock and a hard place on this, is with the, with the Redwoods. You know, this fellow that owns the land in there is cutting. He has land outside the park, trees outside the park that he could cut. Ed Crafts, the Bureau of Outdoor Recreation, knows this thing very well. I talked with him when he was in at the time of the Senate hearings. And he refused to, to, to negotiate this. We told him we'd pay him whatever the extra cost was. And he's just literally cutting down the park. Well, this would be a little emergency bill. There's never been a bill like this, as far as I know. And we would suspend his right to cut for a year to give Congress time to act. How would you suspend? Well, it'd be, in effect, Wayne, the purchase of that right. It'd be sort of an unusual easement. The purchase of the, uh, in other words, we'd prohibit him from from doing something with his property. Is he within the small area, that, uh, the smaller of the areas that's uh, been recommended? Oh, he owns the, uh, yes, that's right. The one they, this is the area the administration has recommended, Wayne. As far as I'm concerned, that's all right. Now, I'm leaving in the morning, and this has to be done with O.B. O'Brien. And I'll get O.B. O'Brien, I'll tell him that this is all right, and... Uh, as soon as the bill gets up here, why, this small part, why, see if you can't rush it through. All right. Wonderful, Wayne. Okay. Oh, Just another thing. Do you represent Denver? No, no, Mr. President. I represent an area as big as New England, but it's outside of Denver, about 38 miles on one side and 22 on the other. I won't do something for you sometime, but I was never as pleased as any visit I ever had, the one at Denver. <laughs> Mr. President, I could see how you were pleased, and I felt wonderful because of that. No, I just, you figure out something I can do in your district sometime, even if it's denounce you. Okay. <laughs> Let me come and do it. Okay, well, now, I told uh, Mr. Udall to work with Mr. O'Brien, and I'll speak to Mr. O'Brien, because I'm down home, and from starting from next Wednesday, I have every day taken now, and I'll come back only when I'm commanded to come back, and Mr. McCormick knows it, but I'll come back if I have to. All right, you let me know anywhere I can ever help you. Okay, thank you, Mr. President.